Good Sunday morning. I'm KTU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. The latest update as of 10 a.m. for the National Hurricane Center still has Barrow as a Category 3 hurricane. It had winds at 115 miles an hour, but as of 10 a.m., winds are now at 120 miles an hour. This is signs of a rapidly strengthening hurricane as it's tracking off towards the Leeward Islands, moving west at a 21 miles an hour, as well as a Category 3 storm. They've already issued hurricane warnings and watches for the Leeward Islands as that storm is fastly approaching uh, that area. So as we look at the latest forecasted track of this system, it does have it as a landfalling Category 1 hurricane in the Yucatan Peninsula as of Friday morning. This will briefly strengthen into a Category 4 hurricane. Very dangerous conditions, but expected to weaken as it makes its way into the Caribbean. So something that we're really going to have to keep an eye on because as we look at the latest model plots, uh, the latest spaghetti model plots, we are showing that they are all in agreement that this is going to be heading towards Central America near the Yucatan Peninsula. There is a few of those models that are taking this system across the Yucatan into the Bay of Campeche or Southern Gulf of Mexico. Mexico. So something that we're going to have to keep an eye on very early to tell whether or not that is going to happen. We're also dealing with some Saharan dust in the picture, but there's other areas of concern aside from Barrow. There is a disturbance in the Bay of Campeche that has 50% chance of development within the next two days. Also behind Hurricane Barrow off the coast of Africa, another tropical wave that has a 70% chance of development. So very active tropics that we're dealing with as of now. And so something that we're really going to have to keep an eye on as we go into the next coming days and also like I said that Saharan dust causing some hazy conditions across southeast Texas we're, it's going to be interesting to see how the Saharan dust interacts with these tropical systems because that Saharan dust actually does a good job at weakening those systems as well as tearing those systems apart but able to see the swirl of that right there just north of South America that's actually where barrel is located and a more concentrated plume of that dust heading off the coast of Africa over the Atlantic Ocean so for us here across Houston just most Mostly hot and humid might want to practice those heat safety measures. We have a heat dome over the south central US that's actually moving off towards the southeast, but that's going to keep things hot and humid highs in the upper 90s lows in the 80s. Very too early to tell whether or not these systems are going to be affecting southeast Texas in the next uh, week or two. But right now we are seeing those hot conditions to remain in place as that high just lingers over the area. So practice those heat safety measures. Highs in the 90s feels like temps in the triple digits.